Hi everyone, I am Cor with MiniesGallery.com and this will be a quick look at one of WizKids latest pre-painted product offerings simply called Watchtower. This is one of many miniature accessories WizKids has made for role-playing games and you can see the full selection of WizKids pre-painted accessories on our website at MiniesGallery.com and at shop.wizkids.com. There is no real brand name or other line name that this accessory is released under. However, it is compatible with WizKids Warlock tiles and all of their other products which have been produced under their 4D tiles and 4D settings lines. This accessory was released on November 22nd of 2023 and I would really like to thank WizKids for providing me with a copy of this set to review. This is the second pre-painted tower which WizKids has released. On November 25th of 2020, they released an accessory under their D&D Icons of the Realms line, which was titled The Tower. This new watchtower is quite similar to its predecessor, and later in this video you can see a comparison of the two. This tower stands 11 inches, or 35.5 centimeters high, and is 11.5 inches, or 29 centimeters, in diameter. The tower is comprised of three stories of interlocking wall pieces and has warlock tiles floor pieces for each level of the tower, including the roof. While the wall pieces are not warlock tiles, they are painted with the same grey colours which are used for warlock tiles. All of the walls of the tower do lock together reasonably firmly, and the tower's door and windows are designed to be removed to help give the tower a rune look in case your needs call for that. Overall, the tower assembly went quite quickly. The stone buttresses around the base of the tower did fit pretty snugly without any need to try to apply any hard pressure. When handling the tower, one or two windows would fall out, but generally they fit quite well into their holes. The battlements circling the top of the tower also fit pretty well, but were a little more loose, which meant that any time I was touching or moving the top of the tower, one or two would fall off. I did not have any issues with any of the tower walls separating while building or handling the tower. All pieces of the tower are colored consistently in the same gray color uh, with a black dark wash, which is the same technique and coloration given to all of WizKids Warlock Tiles products. There is also an instruction sheet included to help you assemble the tower. However, I did find that the building of the tower was pretty intuitive and I did not need to make use of the instructions. This set includes three new Warlock tile items. There is a 4-inch curved floor tile and a modified 4-inch curved tile that has an opening to receive the top of the curved stone staircase. There is also an edge cap for these new curved tiles. This is a pretty nice accessory set and could be a fun addition to your game. There are no miniatures that are included in this set, but I do appreciate that the floors are all made from warlock tiles. The wall height of each level of this tower is about 3.5 inches high and should well accommodate most any miniatures you may place or store inside of it. This set uses many pieces from the prior tower set However, several improvements were made, which greatly improves the playability of the set. All pieces are cast in a fairly thick plastic that has a little bit of flexibility, so I don't believe there would be any concerns about breaking or cracking of any of the pieces during regular use. This set uses many pieces from the prior tower set, However, several improvements were made, which greatly enhances the playability of the set. In the event you feel this tower is not tall enough to suit your needs, WizKids has also made available a Watchtower level expansion set. This set includes all the items you need to add a level onto your tower, and includes the Warlock tiles pieces for either making a full floor or a floor with a stairs hole in it. The wall sections that are included in this set are the walls with the removable window pieces. This set is exclusively available on WizKids online store site under their Warlock parts store, which you can find at this address which I have also linked in the video description. Now let's compare the 2023 watchtower 
with the tower from 2020. They may look quite similar, and that would be because they do use a lot of the same parts. The ground level uses all the same wall parts, however the entrance module with double doors has been replaced with an insert with a sliding portcullis. Also one of the good upgrades that happened with the watchtower is that they replaced the long buttresses around the tower's base with shorter ones. This was a needed improvement as the bottom edge of the second story walls had a little bit of a lip on it, which the buttresses sort of clipped over and made it difficult when trying to remove the second story. All of the floor levels of the 2020 tower only had double-sided cardboard inserts, whereas the new tower now has Warlock Tiles floor pieces. The second story wall pieces are all the same on both towers, However, the window pieces have been replaced with a more traditional looking tower window. Since the window slots they fit within are the same, you can mix and match if you own both towers. The top level saw the greatest change. The 2020 tower's third level had walls with a thick lip on the top with large notches for receiving the roof piece. However, this also meant that the third level could not be interchanged with the second level. The older tower did come with a neat looking dome skylight that was placed in the center of the roof. This window could be used on the new tower if you do not clip in the centerpieces for your warlock tile floor. Although I quite like the double doors on the older tower, there have been many good updates done and this may be why WizKids also offers two additional expansion packs which will allow people who own the 2020 tower to upgrade it. The tower parts set includes all the parts which comprise of the third story of the tower. This is a great option for those people with the older tower that want to update it, as the set also includes the new buttresses and porculus entry module to fully convert the tower from 2022 to this new watchtower. This set is also a good option for those that just want to add an extra story to the watchtower, but don't want the walls with the windows. The tower part set does not include the warlock tiles for the floors though, and that is because they are sold separately in the complete floor set. This set of flooring tiles includes everything you need to add a floor to the tower level and gives you the option of either making it a fully covered floor or a floor with a hole for the stairs. Both of these sets are also exclusive only to WizKids online store which can be found in the link I previously provided and is also in the video description. WizKids was really trying to focus on making this tower modular and expandable when they created it, and I think they did a good job achieving that, especially with the introduction of all the expansion sets. And that's it. Thank you for watching, and I would also like to thank Board Game Emporium in Calgary, Alberta, for lending me the older tower for making the comparisons in this video. Please like this video if you found it helpful and please subscribe to see more of my quick reviews.